All right, welcome back to LearnWire. We are continuing our website build using AI content, but we are doing it. Uh, we're not just spamming like crazy. We are spending the time to make sure the site looks good. We're using premium WordPress themes. Uh, we're, we're creating unique images and so forth, right? We're, so, so we're spending some time, even though we're gonna be blasting this with a couple hundred articles, um, we are doing some things um, that is, I would say is at least less spammy, if you will, uh, because we are only going to be scheduling about four or five articles per day. And when you compare that to like a news article site or Buzzfeed or Huffington Post or something that's uh, publishing hundreds of uh, pieces of content per day, I think five is totally fine. I think uh, niche website builders um, also recently this year uh, conducted a case study that they were um, publishing um, how many it was like thousands of articles um, all within the span of a couple months and it didn't seem to uh, affect any of the kind of traffic that they would expect or growth that they've seen across um, doing dozens or even hundreds of websites in their experience so that just kind of shows that the frequency doesn't really matter um, too much um, but it would be up for debate if we took 100 articles and just put them all in publishing in the same day on a brand new site. That might not be the best thing to do. But again, people have done case studies and shown that that really doesn't impact it that, uh, that much. But we're taking the more careful approach. We are using a auto post scheduler. We're doing we're posting about five articles a day and so forth. Right. So today we're going to be doing some Koala uh, bulk publishing. I'll show you how to get that all set up and so forth, right? So in the last video, we did um, agility, and I'm going to be really focusing on the content of the site as well. And then I'll follow up with all this after we do the content. Um, and we, we've got content ro rocking and rolling, then we can go and start doing, you know, I'll, in I'll install um, Google Analytics on the site and Search Console. Um, and then I will also make the homepage look good and um, so forth, right? But we want to have our site um, getting some traction and getting some content on it uh, right off the bat. Um, and so where are we at now? So we already definitely did this right here. Uh, we built our um, pillar post pages. We are still um, creating our 100 articles, but we did do a video on this. So I am kind of like halfway done with that one. And then right here we are with uh, Koala right here. Oh, sorry, right here, the do, 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 go back. Uh, we are on agility we did, and then right now we are going with the koala, okay? So that's kind of where we're at. Um, right here, you can see in the queue, Koala just finished up one. I'm doing testing right now. And so we have, um, it's currently writing section three on this article right here. It finished this article right here. We can go and view that, but this is choosing the perfect companion plants for blueberries. I want to go and see if this one uh, posted to our site. So I'm going to come over here and push refresh. And I'm going to go over here to drafts. Uh, companion plants for blueberries is right here. So that one just came in. So now we've shown that agility works flawlessly with this method. And so does Koala, uh, where they are going to publish right into your site, which is super cool. Uh, we'll come back and look at that in a second, but let's go get some more going. So in Koala, we've got our other one writing. It's going to automatically publish when it's done. It's going to publish it in draft mode as well, just like agility. And I think that that's great. That's a safe way to do it instead of blasting content in actual publish mode um, you really wouldn't want to do that okay so we're going to come over here i'm actually going to go need to uh, purchase uh, an upgraded plan um, at least to the hundred dollar plan um, because i do want to create about a hundred articles with koala so i am going to have to go and look at the pricing and come down here um, let's see i'm going to go and probably um, purchase the $99 plan right now. Um, but we're going to get 250,000, a quarter of a million words. It automatically publishes for us. It has really good content. And so um, for me, uh, where I'm at in my business, it, it's going to matter where you're at in your business, really. We're all going to have, it's, it's, it's all relative to what you think and how much time tools are saving you. Um, can I go out and uh, create all this content and get it up um, 10 times faster than if I was using free chat GPT? Absolutely, 100%. And so that's why it's uh, worth the money to me. Um, some people will say that agility and Kabbalah is too expensive, but in, in retrospect and 
um, in comparison to even some AI tools that I've uh, paid for, Copy AI and Jasper um, and ScaleNet throughout the years. Um, this is actually still pennies on the dollar in my opinion, and you're getting the, some of the highest quality content um, and formatting and so forth than I've ever seen in the last two years. So well, well worth it to me. But um, of course, to each their own, and we all have our different opinions, right? Um, I will say that if you have Zimwriter, you will have to have a VA probably to go and do all this stuff on the back end. They're going to um, have to um, be um, converting the word, the markdown language to HTML pasting um, that, you know, and you're going to be doing some more things to get the content up on the website, but well, there's nothing wrong with that, but you are going to have to just know that that's probably the main differences uh, in my opinion. All right, so then you can really scale up over here and you can be uh, doing two point um, two and a half million words per month right over here for only $750. I mean, you couldn't even pay a full-time writer um, even twice that uh, to, I mean, you, you just wouldn't even be able to scale like this. It's just, it's, it's just crazy the amount of content that we can get going on this one too. So a lot of good things to say about Koala. I'm also new with Koala as well. Um, but a lot of good things, uh, apparently an SEO expert. I'm not really part of the, um, you know, the Facebook group or discord group, um, with Koala, but I know that they have a, a passionate, um, following and a subscriber base as well. And it does, um, from what I've learned is that it is from a, an expert, um, SEO person that has uh, dozens of money making niche websites. And so that's how they built their tool based on their knowledge and so forth. So, um, yeah, I already kind of did the calculations. I'd only be able to get about 50 articles done with the 49 plan. So I'm going to have to go up here. And so I guess the $99, um, I'll, you know, probably start another website, um, as well. And I'll just, um, use, and make sure I exhaust my credits on Koala. So I'm going to go ahead and sign up real quick, and then we're going to go and actually get some articles writing for us. And then we'll go and edit uh, the ones that um, already just got done for us. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. All right, that took two seconds, literally like two clicks, um, and it was very, really seamless to switch my plan. And so I am on the 250,000 word month plan um, for only 99 bucks. Uh, that is ridiculously cheap in my opinion. Um, but to each their own, like I said, so we're going to go and use the bulk writer. So I'm going to go ahead and click on bulk writer mode over here. I'm going to keep it at 3.5 because right now the GPT four, um, they are fully warning you right here. There's going to be five time increase in, um, in cost. So it's going to eat your credits five times more. If you need high quality articles, if we were doing our pillar posts, I would probably select GPT four and put the pillar posts in here. And that's exactly what I would do. But right now we're just uh, creating supporting blog posts. So I'm going to keep it at the 3.5 right here. It'll tell you all the different things. They have uh, directions on how to um, set this all up, but it's super, super easy uh, to do this. Um, so I already have it set up. I already put my integration code in right here. Let me make sure that it actually sticks. Okay, so that's good to know. So every time you use the bulk writer, there's uh, just a tiny annoyance, but I mean, come on, really? How annoyed can we be when this is gonna go and auto post 50 or 100 articles for me right now um, and save me? I mean, or I can't even calculate how much time it's going to save me um, on the writing, let alone even on the um, posting into draft mode and so forth, right? So it's ridiculous, but you've gotta come up here to the account up here, and then you'll go down to the site where you already hooked up your site. Uh, you've got to click on your site and then it will give you the um, integration ID and you've got to paste that in every time. I have this blurred out right now, um, obviously, so you don't see it. Um, but we're going to go with blog post. You can actually bulk write Amazon roundup posts as well. So if you came up with 100 topics on best blank, uh, you could build an entire Amazon um affiliate store uh, site as well, or when we're doing 10 or 20 posts at a time, we'll be using that as well. So super, super cool that you can do that in bulk mode. Really, really cool. And actually that's a separator, even, the, even from, uh, agility writer that Koala has is that you can, it's going to, it can actually go out there and bulk do around Amazon roundup posts, which is cool. I don't think there's any, any other uh, tool that I've seen that can, that will do that. So the target keywords, what we're going to do is going to come over here and we're going to go into our spreadsheet. Uh, these ones I've already written in their organic gardening right now. 
Um, I'm going to go and fix those ones up in a minute, but let's go and finish our plant care right here. And I have these all scheduled for a koala as well. So I'm going to go ahead and copy these. This is 42. So I'm going to go copy these right here. And I like to do one category at a time. And then when it's done, then I can go and properly put them in the right categories. And so that's how I stay organized when you're dealing with this much content. Um, you can, uh, I could go and just write all this content at once, but then I'm going to have to come back to my spreadsheet and find out what category it was. Um, and so this is actually a better way to stay organized in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and also put an X in this box here and drag and drop that down to here. So we know that we are writing those right now. So plant care. And like I said, it's 42 articles. We're going to grab those. We're going to come back into Koala and right here, you're just going to paste those in, right? So we've got all 42 of those right there. Blog post 3.5. Um, and then right here, I'm going to say AI powered. You can read, pause the video and read that, but it's going to go out and do the um, keyword research uh, for us. Super cool. SEO optimized. We're going to keep it in third person. We're going to also do use real time and site sources and then bulk create. Um, that is about as easy as it's going to get to create content. Um, super, super cool. Super fun to use that. So waiting, uh, queuing or wait, queuing articles. Okay. Like that. And then it takes you to the queue and you can see all these articles right now are, um, in the queue. These ones are the ones we just already wrote, but you can see right here, all these are going to be queued. So it's probably going to take a couple hours for this to write. Um, and that's, what's so cool. It doesn't just write it and it's done in 10 seconds. It actually is going out and doing live web scraping and going to create some really good content for us. So we've got 42 articles in our queue right now and articles in progress one at a time. Okay. So now what we can do is go in here and I have a, this one right here. Let's see. What was that uh, companion plants for blueberries? Okay. Yeah. So the, the, the blueberries and the uh, coffee grounds are organic gardening. Okay. So these two at the top, the coffee grounds and um, all, and the companion blueberries. So, so what you can do is you can grab both those. You can go to bulk actions, edit, apply, and then we can go over here and it was under organic gardening. Um, so we've got organic gardening and for whatever reason, I'm not selecting un uncategorized. Um, I have that unselected. Um, I'll go ahead and choose the author anyways, even though it should automatically be that author anyways. And then we'll just say update. So it's going to put these in the, that category, right? Still keeps me, I'm still going to unselect uncategorized. Uh, but for whatever reason, I want to try one more thing real quick. I'm going to say edit, apply, and then I'm going to uncategorize and organic gardening and and it's still going to keep that. So there's no way to get rid of the uncategories, but we are able to add that categorize in there. And then we can go in there and just take that off in a minute, right? So follow the same process in the agility writer video where we're going to go in here and push edit. We're going to go and optimize our, you know, this is a really long companion plants for blueberries, choosing the perfect ones um, and avoiding the wrong ones, something like that. Um, I'm going to go and actually right now, I need to go and find the right keyword that we would the most optimal. So I'm going to use chat GPT, chat GPT to do that. I'll be doing some prompting for that, but don't really need to do um, that on video. Uh, one thing I'll, I'll scroll through here and you can see just super, super awesome content as well. Just like agility, really, really good laid out content. Um, one thing is that we don't have a um, automatic we don't have an automatic meta description created for us. So you'll have to find a way to do that. Just use chat GBT real quick. Um, and, and then also some of these paragraphs seem, are a little bit big. And so I would split some of these up and, you know, do some corrections as well right here, like I'm doing right here. So I would spend a few minutes in here, um, make some uh, fixes with the content. Anytime there's a big sentence like that, I'll usually fix it and do what uh, Grammarly is uh, telling me to do because it's just a run on sentence or a sentence that just doesn't read well or make sense. So I'll fix those up and this is what I'll do. And we'll, I'll be spending probably a couple days of, you know, eight hour days um, doing all this content and getting it ready to go. But then over the next uh, two months, I'll have 300 articles, um, being published on a new site. So it'll be really, really cool. Um, so one thing I'll do is I'll just take, I would just take this right here and I would copy that. And then I would go over to chat GPT real quick and literally just keep it real simple. And then now he would say, um, again, only keep it under uh, 160 characters. And there we go. 
so not bad. So there's there's our uh, meta description. We'll come right back into the site, throw the meta description in right there. And then, so I'm gonna see if this will work. The most likely keyword for this blog post title to rank in Google would be companion plants uh, for blueberries. I'm gonna take that real quick and I'm gonna type that in in Google just to see if that's actually a keyword. Keywords everywhere should be able to recognize it. And it's a 3,000 a month word keyword. So there you go. That's the keyword. So then what I'll do is I'll come back into the site and um, right here, remember, take off uncategorized right there. Uh, click in here. And it already does have companion plants for blueberries. So we would just take this right here. And boom, I would take that. And that would be our new URL slug. And then what you could do again is just come over here and do something like um, slash imagine and then do um, two dashes AR 16 by nine and then just say something like companion plants for blueberries. Let's see if we can keep it that basic and see what it will come up with for us real quick while that is uh, generating for us. Jump to present and look, we've got it uh, creating right here companion plants for blueberries. Um, it is uh, creating um, blueberries, but you know, the article is about blueberries or plants, uh, companion plants for blueberries. So any of these will work. I'm just going to wait for it to be done. And just like that, I'm going to go ahead and upscale all of these. So we have a nice upscale of them. And that one's cool right there. So I'm just going to actually just um, click it on the web. Yep. And right click, save as companion plants as for blueberries come back into the website and set featured image uploads and just like that we've got our high quality image up over here and set featured image so we've got our image we've got uh, when we publish this it will actually publish on friday um, here um, in about 20 minutes organic gardening in the right category um, right here it did this again so i need to come back in here and fix the permalink. Um, I'll just say save draft. And we have it in the category, organic gardening and companion plants for blueberries. Cool, cool. Uh, we have our meta description in there and we'll take off the site title real quick. So see, these are those little things that you've got to kind of remember to do uh, each time and just make sure over here. So we'll come back and I think that we're looking good. We've got everything and then we'll just push the publish button, publish, okay? So then we'll come back over in to the site and look at schedule. So now we have two in the queue. I've got my work cut out for me, obviously, um, because we can go in here and start looking at drafts. But now we've got um, the drafts coming in. The ultimate um, rows of Jericho guide, everything you need to know. That one, I believe, is just came from Koala. And that is right here. And that's that first one that we um, instructed it to write for us, right? So just like that. We've got our articles writing. That is going to be my process. Um, it's there's still work to be done, right? Like we have AI doing all the content, but I have to go into um, hundreds of articles that look like this and I'm going to have to go in and do the edit, get an image for them, uh, go do the SEO. And, you know, so there's still some, there's still going to be work to be done. Um, and that's what I'm going to be doing behind the scenes. Um, I'll do uh, more update videos. I'm going to do some Zim writer as well and then uh, do the home page. But then at that point, it's gonna be some sit and wait, see what um, gets published and so forth. And I'll keep you guys posted on this case study in the coming months. All right, um, I'll see you in the next video. Uh, before I go, I just wanted to uh, log in one more time and show you uh, Ko Koala, you know, after about, you know, five, 10 minutes, um, it's still, it, now you know what article it's currently uh, writing for you. And this will show the most current hundred articles, uh, starting from the most recent added articles are processed one by one in the article queue. Um, so you can see what it's queued and so forth. And then you can see the ones that had finished these articles. You can go view it in here, um, but it's gonna be already in the website, okay? So um, really, really cool. Very, very, very impressed with Koala and Agility Writer, um, to be completely honest with you. Um, the links to all the tools that I'm using in this case study will be below in the description if you wanna help support LearnWire. I will see you in the next video.